Doctor, have you had any trainees sustain injury, minor or significant, while training in your facility? If so, is it ever a legal worry? Thanks, Stu Johnson. Uh, kind of a sensitive question, isn't it? Should I answer that? Counselor? I wouldn't, but... You wouldn't answer that question? Okay, so I'm going to answer it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's a gym. Uh, people pull muscles and tweak things and twist ankles and get bruises. And, you know, occasionally people tweak their back or their knee or something like that. It's a gym, right? So um, this sort of training is just about the safest physical activity. It's just about the safest form of exercise you can do for reasons that we have enumerated at length. It's incredibly safe. The loads are titrated. It's performed indoors on a stable surface the same way every time. It's an expression of normal human movement patterns through a normal range of motion that calls upon muscles and tendons and ligaments and joints and all the physiological and anatomic components to contribute the exact natural amount of contribution at exactly the right time. Uh, for all of these reasons, it's incredibly safe, and the, stati the statistics bear that out. But it's still human physical activity, and, you know, even the safest human physical activity is, you know, it, it puts you in the world of forces and force vectors and moments and stuff like that, and occasionally you get tweaked. The last time I hurt my back was taking out the trash, you know, just, I mean, you, you just can't be a physical being and not get tweaked sometimes. Have we had ever, ever had a serious injury in the gym? No. Is it a legal concern? This is America. It's always a legal concern. Of the lawyers, by the lawyers, and for the lawyers. Am I right? You're, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, does that help you? Michael Paul, as an old guy, I am taking some prostate medications. Um, he's taking... Uh, Dutasteride and Tamsulosin, Flomax, basically. Is there any chance that consistent weightlifting may decrease my need for these medications? Nobody's looked at this, seriously. Uh, we just don't know, but I doubt it. Ed Clem again, a supplement question. I've heard a lot about taking a magnesium supplement. What do you think? Thanks, Ed. Um, magnesium is an important nutrient. It's one of the magic metals of biochemistry, uh, like calcium, sodium, potassium, and iron, and so on. Uh, magnesium is an important cofactor for energy metabolism, uh, including uh, critical enzymes um, in ATP production. Uh, we use it in medicine all the time. Uh, it's absolutely essential uh, to provide magnesium when replacing low potassium, uh, which is a common enough thing that we have to do. It's used in preeclampsia to prevent seizures as a laxative. Uh, and um, in certain situations, it can use, be used as an antiarrhythmic agent, particularly in the condition known as polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, or torsade de pointe, uh, where I've used it on several occasions. Yeah, and uh, sometimes it worked, <laughs> um, but often it didn't. Uh, hypomagnesemia uh, or low serum magnesium is relatively common, but that's because alcoholism, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes are common. If you are healthy and you're on a diet that's rich in fruits and healthy animal and dairy protein and green leafy vegetables, you should need to supplement it. Uh, oral supplements, which are basically just Magnesium salts are highly bioavailable, and they're well tolerated, and they work well, and they're pretty safe. Um, I don't think I've ever seen an oral magnesium overdose uh, in the ER, although I have seen intravenous overdoses, and those can be scary. Uh, people stop breathing. Um, so an oral magnesium supplement won't hurt you, uh, and if your doctor thinks you should be on it, take it. Otherwise, uh, I'd rather you just ate a balanced diet with lots of fruit and vegetables and, you know, don't overdo the alcohol. You'll be fine. Eric Baum inguinal how long after an inguinal hernia repair is sufficient before starting on a barbell prescription journey? Does the mesh change anything structurally that may require a modification of a squat or a deadlift? Thank you for your question, Eric. Bottom line, this is for you to discuss with your surgeon. 
Um, the literature on this is not definitive, but broad experience by coaches and athletes and some reports in the literature like um, the one that we've linked in the doobly-doo suggests that athletes do better with mesh. Um, as to when you can start, that has a lot to do with how the surgery goes, uh, whether you get mesh or not, uh, how the mesh is secured. I'm not a surgeon, but I gather that there are various approaches to that. And whether or not the hernia raffi uh, is performed open or laparoscopically. Uh, you can usually get the activity pretty quickly, um, but you have to discuss this with your surgeon.